discover how the Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund is accelerating cures. Hi, my name is Ivy Dick, and I'm an assistant professor in the physiology department at the University of Maryland School of Medicine. Our lab has been studying a disease called Timothy syndrome, which is a devastating disorder that causes life-threatening cardiac arrhythmias, as well as severe neurological symptoms, including autism spectrum disorder. And unfortunately, the life expectancy of Timothy syndrome is really only two years old at this point, although that is improving. Unfortunately, currently, there aren't really good treatment options for Timothy syndrome, leaving most patients without a viable solution. The underlying cause of Timothy syndrome is a genetic mutation in a protein known as the L-type calcium channel. And this is a protein that our lab has really focused a lot of our research on. So one of the things that we wanted to do was to use what we had learned from our mechanistic studies to come up with a new treatment option for Timothy syndrome patients. We're fortunate enough to receive support from the Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund, which really enabled us to take advantage of a unique and valuable model system, induced pluripotent stem cells, or iPSCs. One of the really great things about these cells is that they're human cells, either taken from a patient or with mutations genetically engineered into the cells using CRISPR technology, which you can then differentiate into many different cell types. So in this case, we are able to make heart cells, which replicate the cardiac arrhythmias seen in Timothy syndrome patients, to evaluate the different treatment options and see if they can correct these arrhythmias. So in this way, we've been developing and testing a new gene-based therapy that we think will be really beneficial for Timothy syndrome patients. Timothy syndrome is one of the most penetrant forms of autism spectrum disorder, meaning that if you have a select Timothy syndrome mutation, your likelihood of having autism is extremely high. This makes studying the effects of Timothy syndrome mutations in the brain a really unique and rare opportunity for understanding autism. Unraveling the mechanism where a change in calcium entry causes autism holds significant promise for understanding and treating a much larger subset of autism spectrum disorder patients. And so the Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund actually provided us with a second discovery award. And the idea here is really to find a pattern of calcium disruption in the iPSC-derived neurons that's specific to autism spectrum disorder. And so we've been using a combination of biophysical methods and imaging to look at how Timothy syndrome mutations alter the normal function of neurons and to evaluate different drugs to see which ones are able to collect, correct these abnormal properties. So overall, the Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund has really enabled us to bring our mechanistic studies of Timothy syndrome mutations into the context of a human cell model allowing us to apply what we learned about the calcium channel itself to develop new treatment strategies. Accelerating today's stem cell research into tomorrow's cures.